Hello everyone, this is Mr. Keppel, and I wanted to walk you through this really cool calculation of the moon and the earth and the sun. So first we're going to do is we're going to use this spreadsheet to calculate the force on the moon from the earth and the force on the moon from the sun. To do that we're going to use Newton's law of universal gravitation. So we take the gravitational constant g and we multiply by the mass of the moon times the mass of the earth then we need to divide by the distance between the Earth and the Moon, which is the Moon's orbital radius, and we square that. We get this as being the force that the Moon exerts on the Earth. It's about 2 times 10 to the 20 Newtons. It's a big, it's a big number. Now we'll calculate the force that the Sun exerts on the Moon. Now realize the Sun is a lot, a lot, a lot further away than the Earth, but it's way bigger so you can see the distance here is a thousand times farther away, but the mass is a million times greater for the sun compared to the earth. Let's calculate. So we take the universal gravitational constant times the mass of the moon times the mass of the sun, and we're going to divide by the distance between the sun and the moon. So first we got to do the distance out to the earth, which is this 1.5 times 10 to 11. And then we're going to add on this little bit of extra distance from the moon's orbit. And we'll do that just because this will calculate the at the maximum distance, which would be the minimum force. So we'll be comparing the minimum force the sun exerts on the moon and compare that to the force the earth exerts on the moon. We get this. It's about twice as much force that the sun exerts on the moon than the earth exerts on the moon. We might be wondering, how is that possible? Like it's weird, right? Because the moon orbits around the earth why would the sun be pulling the moon harder than the earth? Wouldn't that mean the moon orbits the sun? That's kind of strange. So I want you to remember these numbers. So I want you to remember, well, we don't need to know this. This is one AU or one astronomical unit, but this one, 3.84 times 10 to the eighth. So how many kilometers is this? So to turn this into kilometers, we just need to divide a thousand. So we take this eighth power, make it a fifth power. And 10 to the fifth power is 100,000. So this is 384,000 meters. So remember that because we're going to go in here to Universe Sandbox. We're going to actually model in this software program the orbit of the moon around the Earth and the orbit of the Earth-Moon system around the sun. So this is a really cool program. Shout out to Alex for gifting this to me for my birthday. This is the coolest program ever. I'm going to show you guys a few things about it. So we're going to open up a new simulation here. We're going to add in the sun. So we get on here to add. Let's see, where are you, sun? Okay, on this tab, here's the sun. We're going to stick. Oh, it's so bright. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go blind. Hold on. Oh, geez. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. Okay, now we're going to add the earth. I'm sure it's on this planet's tab. There we go. Home sweet home. And the earth orbits at a distance of 1 AU. So right there is 1 AU. And now we've got the sun. Oh, what did I just do? I went in the sun. Get get out, get out. Okay, where's the Earth? There you are, Earth. Okay, so let's make things a little bit easier. We can view the orbit. Okay, so there's the Earth going around the sun. Let's go zoom in and check, take a look at the Earth. Hello, Earth. There's the Earth spinning around. And where's the sun? Let's see. So this is the light side here. We can look over this way, and we'll see the sun. Oh, there you are, sun. Oh, the Milky Way galaxy is there behind the... All the stars in the galaxy are there behind the sun. Okay. One of the really cool things about this is you can actually adjust the time that passes. So let's make like a day per second pass by. One day per second. Come on, let me hit one. One day per second. Oh, oh my gosh, look how fast. <laughs> it's like flying around. Can we go even faster? We'll see. What about five days per second? <laughs> okay, sorry. Got a little distracted. Okay. So now what do we need to do? We need to add the moon. So we'll go add, but this is the moon's tab. Okay, let's see, Phobos, no, that's Mars's moon, Titan, that's Saturn. Oh, here we go, the moon, okay, let's see. And, uh, well, this is kind of crazy, let's see. So what was that distance again? It was 384, what's going on? What did I do? Hold on, let me, let me pause this, okay, let's pause this, okay. Breathe, all right, let's see, moon is here. Okay, so we want to go to where the orbit of the moon is. So a lot of people think that the moon is actually like, really close to the earth but it is not anywhere near the earth so it's 384,000 kilometers away so that's right there okay so now we've got our earth moon system and let's hit play 
There we go. Okay, so now we can see the moon is going around the Earth. And then we'll move out like this. And then we'll see that they're also going around the sun. So as the moon goes around the Earth, together they're going around the sun. Now, you might not see it yet, but if we turn off the orbits and instead turn on trails, the trails sort of give you like a path, a record of where the object was. And now if we look towards the sun, now we can see what's actually happening is that they're both orbiting around the sun. So you could very clearly see here that the moon is orbiting around the sun. It's just not because it's so close to the earth. It's also being pulled and tugged in that orbit by the earth. So that's causing the earth to speed up the moon and then to slow down the moon relatively speaking from this from this frame of reference out here and so you can see the moon is actually orbiting around the sun as it orbits around the earth and that's all i wanted to show you because i thought it was really really cool and once again shout outs to alex for sending me this program it's super super cool all right see you guys later